What's up everybody, welcome back to this episode of testing. What we're gonna do is test this item right here since I just got my hands on it. This is 20% magic attack, additional magic pierce, and magic up by level. It is ridiculous. So, I'm gonna step outside really quick. I can't wait to use it, but I wanted to show everybody what it's all about. So, we're gonna kill something and show you damage, and then uh, from there, the testing will begin. So we did 471k without spell burst. Seven hundred K with spell burst. We're also going to use spell boost. So I could do 899k with spell burst with my current equipment. Now what I'm going to do is actually do all the switching. So what we have here is my stats give you a quick look at what they are fight in dex magic attack 10,000 green line blue line magic attack 10,000 Here's the equipment. So currently I'm using the Tania Beret with Meza and Spellburst. Now if you look at Meza, it's only giving me 15%. Gira Jarma. So what we're gonna do is look into the Tania. We're gonna extract this. With any luck, we'll successfully do it. Hope it does not break. Great. Now we're gonna put the Dunkless in. Excellent. And now my magic attack is 10,326. So 5% magic attack gave me 300 additional, or 300 and like 19 or 18 or whatever additional magic attack. Not to mention that there's pierce, magic pierce on me too. So back into testing. The Meza did one thing and it lowered my MP which is kind of useful because I don't have to MP so much times to f make my bar full. But uh, when encountering certain bosses that uh, drain my MP uh, or take away the max MP, then I run into a problem. So those are the differences that I see so far. But let me kill something and test this. So we were able to do 700,000 without spell boost.
and 600,000 with spell boost without spell burst. Nine hundred and twenty-nine thousand. So that gave me about thirty thousand more damage because my magic attack was raised three hundred, and I have magic pierce. So I would definitely recommend this item, Dunkelus in Tania, because the magic attack plus fifteen percent additional. 5% if it's on the add and magic up by level is a lot so we're talking about magic pierce 10% total and then magic attack 20% total and then magic up additional so at the moment best X Tau ever And we're gonna try to kill some Yaris. So I could one shot them basically. And I just did 917k. So to the Yardie, it varied a little bit. I'm guessing because they have some sort of resistance. But we'll try that again. Usually I have shortcuts set for um, my heal set, but they got deleted. I do recommend a heal set for yourself if you don't have one. So it could do anywhere from 917 to 923k at the moment, which isn't bad. I definitely enjoyed 300 magic attack, and because I'm lower level, that means that when I actually do get to level cap or somewhere near there my magic attack is actually being increased as I level so that's the great thing about you know any of the items that have um, up by level it's really useful so the last hit was 920 as well so on a Yardi in this setup, it can do about 920k damage without assistance. So if you're talking about, um, you know, any any songs or anything like that, I would be doing over a million. And once again, I'm just using a Universe Struggler, Tania Beret, 
spirit plume, and magical ring. A lot of people would, you know, <clears throat> up these to get more defense and stuff like that. But because I'm really a high wizard, I don't really use defense, so I don't really need to up them. It always helps, but it does cost a lot of time and uh, money to do it. Uh, the only thing I do actually refine is actually the weapon. You should refine the weapon and super refine the weapon. That is my opinion. Just make sure you pick the weapon of choice for you. And so thank you guys so much for watching this. Check you guys out next time. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up.